It's a wonderful story, John, and it's a story certainly uh, worth telling, and it's worth uh, looking up if you haven't uh, gotten all the details of Artemi Panarin's upbringing in his life. And when you get around him a little bit, you get the sense that he never gets the uh, feeling or you get the sense that he's the biggest thing in the room. And I think I talked to an ex-teammate uh, to, uh, of his from Columbus, Cam Atkinson, today. He and Cam used to travel to home games together, downtown Columbus to Nations Bank Arena. And on their way to the arena, what they would do is Artemi would stop at a church along the way. Now, downtown uh, Columbus can have some issues. There were some churches that were open and some that weren't. Either way, he would either stop and have a prayer outside or inside the building, come back out, get back in the car with Cam, and off to business they go. So there's an awful lot of the things as we take and pay attention to the difficulties. He believes that he knew he was poor but didn't think they were impoverished. It's a wonderful story in a lot of ways, and he's had to overcome numerous situations, but boy, oh boy, it sure has worked. Yeah, and he, t he does have an elaborate post-game prayer uh, ritual that he goes through. He has his grandparents' birth years tattooed on each leg. You know what? You want to know how much fun he's having? Check out his Instagram, because he is very active on social media. He has more than a half million followers on Instagram and only a handful of NHLers have more including his teammate goaltender Henrik Lundqvist and he often talks about his travails around New York City. He really, Davey, has dismersed himself in New York. He really has, and he's done it in a way, again, I, I can't help but get back to this thing. I, you just get a sense he's got a real good idea of who he is and, 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 and what it means to be here and the journey that's taken him here. And uh, all those really good things about a guy uh, who's uh, certainly enjoyed all kinds of success. And you have to think that of all the big time signings in this great city when it comes to athletics that this guy will be as well adjusted as anyone to handle what it takes to be on Broadway. In the meantime, two, uh, there, he is one of three undrafted players, right, John? Yeah, it's amazing when you look at this. Undrafted with what he's accomplished in the NHL. First of only three, or one of only three, to record 70 or more in each of his first five seasons. The other, Peter Stastny, and the great one. And I know, Davey, you know there's a connection between well, Panarin and Gretzky. Well, there really is. There's a story. Uh, when we were in St. Louis, as the turn of the calendar uh, this season, sitting on the bench with trainer Jim Ramsey, and we were watching Panarin in warm-up. And we just both looked at one another and says, uh, we acknowledge just how good he's been and how much fun he seems to have. Rammer proceeded to tell me that when he comes to the bench, he's in control, he enjoys the game, he enjoys practice, he enjoys people, and the only other guy that he'd ever had in his career who was like that was the great Wayne Gretzky. We take a look in practice, it was a happenstance five minutes later after that interaction with Ramsey, I would run into Wayne Gretzky and tell him the story. And you got that sly smile that all the great ones have. Who knows what it takes? Well, a lot of times, too, you have to enjoy what you do. And there's no question from day one, we've had the ability up close and personal to watch him interact with his mates, to come in here and fit in. And I can't help but think that everybody has a ritual in warm-up, and this is him darting to the Ranger locker room <laughs> when a warm-up is all done. So there's a lot of different things about a neat guy that we really, John, when you think of it, we're only 51 games into his career on Broadway, but boy, oh boy, there's a lot of good things to think about, right? Yeah, Davey, and we see him do that before every game, take that mad dash off the ice. Even players who say they have no superstitions have superstitions, and I think Otemi does as well. What do you know about what he does to prepare for a game? Well, the thing is, a lot of guys go through different things, whether there's a lot more stretching now. There's guys that uh, put the headphones on and listen quietly at their stall in the room. Artemi has a ritual outside the locker room in the hallway that we'll take a look at, right? It's the, the wonderful foot foot coordination here, just keeping the ball going left, right, left, right off the hand. Steve probably knows that. It's an old goaltender's drill. So you see in the background other guys, and it's a final stretch, right? So that Broadway kick on a goal, that's where it starts, right there. So. <laughs>